Hi everyone and welcome to Walk Away From The Workbook. If you're new here, my name is Nicole Seymour and I'm a kindergarten teacher in California. Like pretty much all teachers in this country, I have spent the majority of this year and a bit of last year in distance learning. Before this year, I didn't even know what distance learning was and now I feel like I could probably teach a class on it. But that's not how I always felt and in the beginning of the year, I really struggled to find things that would be engaging and fun for my students to do. I came across a website called flippity.net that I thought I would share with you as teachers and as parents that is a really great review tool for you to use with your child when you're working with them on reviewing skills at home. When you get to flippity.net, scroll through and see all of the different games that you can create to help your child with whatever they might be learning and at whatever age they may be. The first thing I'm going to show you is this spinner activity. For every Flippity activity you do, you will have to make a copy for your Google Drive. Once you've made a copy of your document, you just need to erase what is already there and put in what you would like your child to review and do. So for this one, I'm gonna start with number review. So I'm gonna turn this spreadsheet into number recognition for the numbers 12, 13, 14, and 15. Once you have created your spreadsheet, click publish to the web and OK. You'll be sent to a link that you can click, or you can just click on get the link here at the bottom of your spreadsheet. Click on that link, and it'll take you right to your new Flippity game. All you have to do is click the spinner. It will spin, and at the top, it'll tell you what it landed on. You can also use this spinner activity to practice sight words. So here you see I've created a spinner with the words this, how, out, and little. You can simply have your child read the words as they spin them, or you can turn it into a reading and math game, which is what I like to do in my class. We usually will spin 10 times and see which word comes up the most. So we'll either create tally marks for the words if we're working more on counting, or we will write the word every time it comes up and then count the words. Usually, whichever word is the winner at the end, we will put that word in a sentence. And they're always really compliant about this because they're very competitive and so they believe that whatever word is the winner should get the prize of being in a sentence. The next game I want to show you is a memory game. So you're going to again make a copy of the document in your Google Drive, erase what is there, and put in what you would like your students to be matching. In the example, it is colors and color words. I'm going to change this to sight words. My students love playing this game in the classroom and on the computer. So it's a really fun way for them to practice their sight word fluency. You can add images, you can add audio, whatever you need to do. I am not as tech savvy as other people are. So if you can figure out other fun ways to use this one, go for it. Again, you're going to want to click publish so that you can get the link on the web. Go to get link here and click on that link and you'll see your memory game appear on your screen. Have your child read the words as they click them and remind them that the object of the game is to match every pair of sight words. Let's take a look at the word search activity. I have used this game both in my Google Classroom as an assignment for asynchronous or independent learning and I have also printed these out for my students to do in the classroom. So again, make a copy of the document, put in whatever you want for your word search. I like to do sight words because students really enjoy doing sight word word searches. And once you have all the words that you would like, you can go ahead and click publish to the web and it will show you what your word search will look like. Again, once you click here, you have the option of either printing it and making copies for your students, or you can take a screenshot of this and add it to Google Classroom or Seesaw or whatever platform you're using to send your students assignments during distance learning. This next game is a sight word guessing game and there are a lot of different versions of it to play. I'm gonna start out by showing you the snowman game. So I put some sight words into my list and I published it to the web after making a copy in my Google Drive. I'm going to click on that link and when I get to that link, you're going to see a snowman all built up and ready. Then I'm going to start guessing letters that could be in this word. And if I guess the letter correctly, the snowman stays put. If I guess the letter incorrectly, as you can see, the snowman starts to melt away. And if the snowman melts completely away, 
the computer will tell me what word I missed and it will give it to me again to try. If I get the word correct, it will simply pass me on to the next word. This one is a favorite in my classroom. They never want to see that snowman melt and they always wanna be the winners. And most of the time they are because they are so competitive, like I said before, especially at ages five and six. They just want to beat the snowman. They wanna beat me in this game and have a great time doing it. You don't have to use snowman. There's also one called flower power. So you can change your game into a flower sitting in a flower pot. And if you guess incorrectly, the flower petals will start to fall until there is nothing left. You could also do the bomb. And I have not used that one yet, but that is another option for you. And you could also turn this into a game called apple picker. This is another one I haven't tried yet, but whatever you choose to use for your child, I'm sure they will enjoy playing this game. As you can see, flippity.net has a lot of really wonderful and free resources for you as a teacher and as a parent. So if you are a parent who does not want to spend money on reams and reams of paper because you guys just don't use that at home, this is a great alternative for games that I show you that do use paper and pencil and crayons that you really don't need those supplies for. This is a completely digital resource for you to use at your convenience and your child will probably love these games. And so I hope you enjoy them too and I hope it helps them learn. Remember to get creative. As you can see from a lot of the examples that are on the website, a lot of these games are actually geared towards older students. You just have to think about what you can put in your spreadsheet so that your child can learn or review a concept that they are going over in class. So that's all I've got for you today, and I hope you found this resource helpful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with a friend who might find it useful. You can also find me on Facebook at Walk Away From The Workbook or on Instagram at See More Of Coley. Until next time, have a great day and have fun learning with your little ones. Bye.